Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In this Go High Level tutorial, I want to show you how you can add product tours quickly and easily to your SaaS version of Go High Level. And the reason that I'm actually shooting this video is because I'm in the process right now of actually adding it into my own SaaS. So I thought, what the hey, I might as well create a video for you guys as well. Now, if you are thinking about getting started with Go High Level, I have just recently completed a marketers pack that I'm also giving away for people who join using my link. There is also a 30 day free trial if you wanna check that out and you'll also get access to my bonus funnel scene course. All of that information down in the description, so go ahead and check it out. Okay, so first of all, why a product tour? Well, when I first got into Go High Level earlier on in this year, I literally had no idea what I was looking at. There wasn't much sort of demo data in the platform, so to navigate around and actually find things myself was a little bit of a mission. Now, I can only imagine that majority of people who join up to Go High Level think the exact same thing. So if you break it up with a nice and simple product tour, then you can actually ease in the sort of introduction to the platform you can show people around and you can also lead them different directions so what i'll do is i'll quickly show you this uh, quick one i created for the dashboard just before just to give you an idea of what works so this is my white labeled SaaS version of go high level so when a person joins into the platform once they get into the home page this is what they're going to see so the product tour comes up here slightly before the page loads, which is good. My internet's a little bit slow today as well, but regardless, they get started with this here. They can watch the video if they want. I just embedded a small um, one from my YouTube channel just for the sake. I'm not gonna show you the proper one. But if they go start tour, you will see it then takes them to the left where they can see the launch pad, right? So it tells them a little bit about the launch pad. You can click on next, shows them a bit about the dashboard. Next, we've got conversations and you get the idea of it, right? What happens is you actually tag little bits of um, the product tour to specific elements on a page and then people can come through and go through all of the different pieces. So it's a really, really cool um, sort of feature and function that you can add to your platform. It just makes the whole adoption period a lot easier and people are going to end up staying longer because they know how to actually use the platform so let me show you how it works now we'll be using this uh, this platform called use to full it is free to get started if you do want to help support the channel I've left a link to that in the description as well but what this does is this is the platform itself that provides the code and the software to actually create these tours. Now it's funny, I did see someone actually creating a product tour inside of Go High Level and they charge $197 per month for people who wanna use the onboarding sequence. Now it is going to take a little bit to create it yourself, but if you dedicate maybe an hour, maybe a couple to actually creating this, it's going to save you a ton of money down the line if you want you can also resell it like this other guy is as well it's a nice little side hustle too so what you want to do is come to usedifull.com once again link to that is in the description if you want to support the channel and go ahead and create an account i'll quickly show you the different pricing so you understand what you're getting yourself into before i actually go through it so you can get started for free. You have 2,000 assists per month. What that basically means is each time someone clicks on or enters a page and it comes up with the pop-up, that's counted as one. If they go back to the page multiple times, that's still counted as one. So essentially you could have 2,000 product tours for 2,000 different people if you wish. Now this is just for uh, one product tour. So if you did wanna have multiple product tours for specific things in your account, you will most likely need to get the plus plan, which is 29 euros per month. This is going to allow you to have unlimited product tours and up to 5,000 people per month plus a team space. And then of course, if you want, you can actually get unlimited. If this is this is a really good example of why you'd want to, um, what you wanna get if you wanna resell it as well and you can get unlimited on top of here, you just need to call them and have a little chat. So once you're inside of the platform, let me just show you from the very beginning what it looks like. So once you get started at the top here, we've got content, reports, themes, integrations, and basically what's going to happen is you start off, I would recommend with what's called the themes, okay? So inside here, you create a theme, mine's FS theme for funnel scene, and basically you just choose your colors, choose your fonts, choose your sizes, things like that. So once you've done it once, you don't have to worry about it later on. There's not too much inside of here. You can also add in custom CSS if you want. 
Then once you have done that, what you can do is come back to content and inside content, you can go ahead, if you've got multiple different types of tours, if you're on one of the unlimited plans, you can go and create a new folder. You can add specific parts of your tours inside of there. If you've got multiple brands, you can put multiple brand names inside of there as well. However, if you are just creating one basic tour, like I have just here to start off, then you can just go ahead and create one here. I'll go ahead and I'll just quickly show you what a tour will look like once you've built it out for a little bit, right? So this is all of these steps on the left. Obviously, it's the same steps as you can see on the left here. And it's actually quite easy to use. I'll just get rid of that page. Um, so let me come back and I'll create a brand new product tour just to give you an idea of how it works. So first of all, we have here the welcome, right? So there's a few different options for um, the types of pop-ups that appear. We've got what's called a point pointer, and this will go specifically to an element with this little point here. We've got a modal, which is like a pop-up that um, just goes in the center of your page. And then we also have a slide out, which is the bottom um, types of pop-ups you can have it on the left or the right. So to start off with, I'd probably suggest having a modal. Modals are quick and easy, and if you wanted to edit it, as you can see, it says here, welcome, and it says welcome here. So click on this little spanner. It'll pop up here with the title, so I could just say here, welcome aboard, right? Come down here, see what else we have. So you've got different types of um, triggers and style adjustment, things like that. But to actually edit the text, just come and click on the page itself, right? And you can start adding in some text here. So let's just say, welcome to funnel scene, right? inside you will find all the bits and pieces you need to build your own um, digital business something like that right this is just to give you an example okay now if you want to add in a video just click on the video module if i just quickly go to youtube right so here is the uh, youtube video let's just say i want to embed horrible a frame to pause on anyway i'm just going to show you a youtube embed i'd highly recommend using a premium platform like publidio vimeo things like that wistia um, just so you don't have all the text on it but just for an example i'll show you youtube so i'll just get the embed code copy that come to the page click on embed paste it in like so click on save and here is the video now if you want to space it out just simply put a space same thing again at the bottom if you want to add in things afterwards just come down press enter and you can add it in here to get started with the tour right just click start tour below okay and if you want to style it you can center it like so center it if you want to change things like the text um, you can also do all of that inside of it as well um, it's weird how it's got that there let's just say i want to increase this size you can't change the tab one it looks like but that's fine so we'll go tools or format sorry fonts there's all your different fonts font sizes i'll go to like 18 that's cool bold it so it's a little bit nicer i might even just space this out a bit and um, make that not as big something like that okay so just make it as pretty as you want right it's just a, a simple text editor um, that we're using Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now you can also center the buttons. We've got here the buttons tab, so alignment center. If you wanna have it in the center, that's cool as well. You can also hide the title if you want, just to keep it nice and clean. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now automatically saves, as you can see here, all changes are saved. Obviously save it before you leave, save and exit's there as well. But let's just say I wanna preview the tour. What you wanna do is grab your um, location link, right? So if I just scroll down this page, just a page like the dashboard is a really good example if you're doing a dashboard tour. Copy that link inside of one of the customer accounts or client accounts, whatever you're doing it for. Come inside here, click preview tour. It's gonna to ask for a link, so I'll just paste that in there and click open page. Now it's gonna open the page. Now I probably should uh, let you know before we get started, you are going to need to get a Chrome extension. I've already installed it, but if I have a look what it looks like in the store, Okay, so all you need to do is go to use Tful um, Chrome and, and Google and it'll pop up here. Just add this to Chrome, log into your account. And then what that's going to allow you to do is have this little bar down the bottom. And what that can do is just give you an idea of what your tour is actually going to look like. So if I come back to the dashboard, you can see exactly what it looks like. Come to the live version and this is what it looks like. And as you create the steps, they're gonna populate down here. You can switch between them, you can restart the tour just to make it exactly how you want it to look. So it's nice and easy. 
So now we have the first step done. Let's go ahead and start going through the different parts of the actual platform itself. So I'm gonna click add step and you've got all these different options, right? We've got redirect, delay, slide out modal, pointer. Majority of the time, you're probably gonna use a pointer. So I'm gonna click pointer. Okay, step two, what I'm gonna do is click on this little edit step, type this out and as it's going to be, say launch pad, I'm gonna type in here, um, launch pad. This is just for my reference as well. I'm actually just going to probably hide majority of it. I might, might even leave it there actually. That looks not too bad. So launch pad, inside of the launch pad, you can integrate all of your different platforms. So everything talks to each other and connects. Something like that, okay? Super easy. Now, what we need to do is actually add this element to the launch pad part of your uh, Go High Level version. So what you wanna do is click on this little button here, select element, and using your Chrome extension, what it's going to do is once again, bring up the location, click open, and this is super easy. I love how they've been able to um, make it this simple, right? So once the page loads, what you wanna do is on the left is hover over what you want it to highlight. So if you only want the word highlighted, just click on that part. If you want the whole thing highlighted, click on that part there. Now you'll see it's all blue. This is just custom code, so don't worry about that. So I'm gonna click SB Launchpad. Looks good, comes inside there, highlight element. Highly recommend leaving that on. And that's pretty much done. So if I came to product tour, just to give you an idea of what it looks like now, and then I'll show you a quick way to start banging these out, right? So once again, there's our first part of the tour. It comes up a little bit early. Sometimes high level takes a couple of seconds to load. So you can always add in a delay step before your initial, like, and I'll show you how to do that in a sec. But start tour, there's our first part there, launch pad, and it's highlighted launch pad on the left. Super easy. And you can see down here, we've got two steps now. So now you get the hang of how easy it is to actually add things. What I'm gonna do is just start cloning it, right? Start duplicating steps. Reason for this is, you have to go back and forth quite a few times and I find it just easier to bulk do um, different parts of it, right? So if I go have a look at this, we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I'm gonna create 12 steps, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? And then what you wanna do is just come on each one and start naming them, all right? So dashboards, conversations, calendars, so dashboard right conversations calendars okay and you can see how quick and easy this is all right now we got contacts opportunities payments and you get the idea um, i'm not going to make you go through all of this i'll just do a few okay and payments and then what i would recommend you do once you finish the entire lot is just come back and start writing a little paragraph for each, right? So if you need to add an image, you can do so. Create one in Canva, upload it, whatever it needs to be. But just come inside here, dashboard. This is where you will see all your different metrics, right? So whatever you're gonna be talking about, that's fine. So, and you just wanna come through, spend, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to do the initial page, right? So this is the home page or the dashboard page, I should say, where people will land normally and then this is good to go. Now, if you want to have tours on every page of your website, right? So let's just say you only want the tours to appear on dashboard, then that's fine, you can just do dashboard. If you want the tours to appear on each tab, so conversations, and you can start going through all of these things, or on calendars, you can start talking about each one, right? This is where we're gonna create new tours, and this is where you're gonna need the 29 euro per month plan. So just keep that in mind and you would start again with a new tour. Now you are going to have to set the triggers as you can probably tell. Um, this one ap appeared on calendar, so we don't want that. And just before I do show you how to set the triggers, um, what, what I recommend you do is actually come and install your plugin before you forget. So install your site, what you wanna do is just come inside here, click a simple setup right, you don't need to worry about advanced setup right now. So click on simple setup, here's your code, copy the code, come to your go high level agency dashboard, and then as you can see here, I've already pasted in my script. Simple and easy, click update. But don't worry, if it's not published yet, no one's gonna see it, so that's completely fine. You can do the tour as many times as you want first. And then when you're ready to roll, you can see it's in draft, you click publish, and then that will be live. 
Now, if you are doing multiple tours, an easy way to duplicate them as well, if you've got formatting, is just click on the three dots here and click Clone Tour. It's gonna clone everything inside of your page. All you need to do is obviously change the contents and change the triggers. Which brings us to the next part, which is the triggers. Let's go have a look. So come back to the tour you've just created. I might actually change the settings of it. It's just called Untitled. So I'll just call this the YT Tour. All right, so YT Tour, that just so I can differentiate it. And down below is where we can actually set all these different triggers for our tour, right? So this is just a dashboard tour. So what I might do is I might actually put YT Dashboard Tour, right? And then down here, maybe I only want it to appear on dashboard. What I can choose is only certain pages and user segments. So I can click on all URL contains, and then what I can do is put in here dashboard, right? So there, so URL contains dashboard. Now there are lots of different types of um, triggers inside of here, or sorry, I should say filters or conditions. So choose the one that's right for you, and you can choose any or all of the conditions depending on how you wanna filter it. But URL contains dashboard, if you go to your page, let me just show you real quick. You can see here it says dashboard. So that means the dashboard. Now you'll probably notice that all these pages are like that. Let me just go to a better one. So for example, if I scroll down, you'll see this one is calendars. It's the calendars tab. They make it really easy to use, right? So dashboard's fine. How to start this tour automatically. Um, and then you can choose if you want it to appear just once or every time or once and then on user action. Majority of the time, people just need to see it once. Um, you can always add in a button later if you want to trigger it as well. But apart from that, that looks pretty good. You can also add this show progress thing at the top if you want. It's just like a little progress bar. Not necessary though. And just choose the theme once again and click on save. So now this entire thing is actually ready to roll. So if I just go through a product tour one more time, I'm not gonna make it live. I've got a couple of people in the platform already, um, but I'm gonna work on it and then eventually um, launch it out myself. So I'll just come back to the dashboard here. Okay, paste in my link, click an open page, just to see what my final product looks like. You guys should get the gist of it by now. So once again, um, so I should put a delay in here as well. Add step, delay, right? Delay is not visible. Choose how long, maybe five seconds. Sounds pretty good. And you can move the steps around. Okay, so you can see there's a delay there. So next time this actually loads, it'll take just slightly longer, which is good. So the tour has appeared. So I'm gonna go ahead, click start tour. As you can see, all these ones that we've just created are coming through. As you can see, I haven't chosen the tags, that's fine. All I need to do is come through and actually choose the right tags for it. So as you can see, dashboard, I need to choose dashboard inside of it. So it's just a little bit of manual work. I believe less than an hour, you should be able to get out majority of the website. I've been talking a lot, which has um, taken up a lot of this time, but that's pretty much it. Then once again, once it is live, once you've added in the code, everything's good to go. Click on publish. And then from now on in, product tours are going to start. So epic tool once again. Um, useful if you want to once again support the channel. I've left a link down in the description. If you want more training, don't forget to subscribe. I've got so many great videos coming out, but I hope this was useful. It's going to help a lot of my new users to my platform, I believe, because it just makes more sense, especially because there's so many features, it's kind of overwhelming. Anyway, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't got high level yet or you're thinking about getting the SaaS Pro version, check out the links in the description. I've got an amazing pack I'm giving away to all my referrals, including bonus funnels as well as an entire course. Make sure you check that out. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video once again. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.